In 2011, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. I had the surgery, and during the surgery, 50 lymph nodes were removed. After the chemotherapy ended, a couple months after that, I was noticed my right thigh felt strange. I didn't even know how to explain it. It was a feeling I'd never experienced before. I tried to describe it to my oncologist on a couple of follow-up visits, and after the second or third time, uh, she mentioned the word lymphedema. I'd never heard that word before. I was sent for treatment, which uh, was manual lymph drainage, twice a week for about six weeks. And as someone newly diagnosed with lymphedema, I didn't know anything about it, so I trusted that this was the best treatment I could have. I retired in 2013, about a year and a half after the cancer, and left on a boat and went south sailing to the Bahamas and back. And along on the boat went my custom flat knit compression garments, my night garments, and my pneumatic pump. Um, I always tried to do everything I was told I should do to manage this lymphedema. And I went back and another round of six weeks of manual lymph drainage twice a week. And that was my life for a while. Every six months I'd, I'd do that. And I think I convinced myself that my lymphedema wasn't really that bad, and I tried, I tried not to be as terrified as I really was when I saw the photographs of advanced lymphedema. And I'd been reading about bandaging and wrapping, and I said to the therapist, I said, why wasn't I ever wrapped or bandaged, this thing I read about? And this therapist was not my original therapist, and she said, you weren't? And I said, no. And uh, I said, could I be wrapped now? Would it make a difference? Because I had noticed my leg was not getting better. It was slowly getting worse over time. So I saw another therapist who wrapped me for the first time. And that wrapping lasted for two weeks um, from my ankle to the top of my thigh. And uh, then a few months after that, I went off on the boat again for eight months. Uh, while I was away, I had a lot of time to think about lymphedema and how it was changing my life, how I had to be conscious of it every moment. And I was starting to think about whether this was the best treatment, whether there was something more that could be done. And I vowed that when I got back home, I was gonna find a doctor, a physician that knew about lymphedema because my oncologist, my primary care physician, all of them had just a surface knowledge about it, and I, I guess they did the best they could. They would write my scripts for therapy whenever I asked, but I felt like I needed someone who knew more. And I, I found someone, um, and she sent me for complete decongestive therapy. She said, this is the only thing that's gonna work. I started another se series of wrapping, and this time was really different. It was every day. Um, instead of just gray foam wrapped horizontally around my leg, the foam was fitted and contoured to my leg. The layers of bandaging seemed to be specifically done to fit my, my lymphedema. Um, my toes were wrapped. They'd never been wrapped before. Um, everything was more meticulous and more carefully done. I felt like more time was allotted, so there was time for the manual lymph drainage and the wrapping, and I felt like um, I was being taught what this was about and how to manage it. And my leg was smaller and softer by the end. And then I was refitted for my, my garments. And I felt like, oh, it took four years, but I felt like I finally found what I needed to do. It wasn't gonna go away, but it was more manageable. I think when I reflect back on everything now, I really wish that as someone newly diagnosed with lymphedema, Someone had sat me down and looked me straight in the face and said, this is the only thing that's going to work. You need complete decongestive therapy and describe what it is and why it works and why I need it. Um, I would, if I had known then what I know now, I would have moved heaven and earth to make that happen. I think as um, lymphedema patients, we need and deserved the best treatment education and information from our doctors and our therapists because this is this is for life there's no way out of it um, and it's the only way to get through it and learn to live with it and live the best life you can